going to show you how to create Ice Potion. This will be a great addition to your potion prop collection we've been making along the way. The Ice Potion is said to give immediate protection to anyone walking through black flames and have them come out unscathed. Okay, so what we will need for this is one glass bottle, a cup of Epsom salts, some dish liquid, some Mod Podge, some white or clear glitter, a cup of water, a teaspoon for measuring, a regular spoon for mixing, a paintbrush, and a label printed on sticker paper to put on the outside of the bottle. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to create a fake frost um, look effect on the outside of this bottle to give it a nice icy feature. So we're going to boil our cup of water so that we can mix our Epsom salts and then some dish liquid in there to create our solution for making the fake ice or frost on the outside of the bottle. Okay, so now that my water has been boiled, um, I'm now going to add the cup of Epsom salts or half a cup of Epsom salts, I'm sorry. So you do um, half uh, Epsom salts to the amount of water. So if you did two cups of water, you could do a cup of Epsom salts. Uh, we're doing a cup of water, so we just did a half a cup. And all we're doing is stirring to dissolve the Epsom salts into the water completely. Now that the Epsom salts have dissolved completely, we are going to add a teaspoon and a half of dish liquid. Doesn't matter what color or what kind, it's just needing that dish liquid to um, be able to get the crystallization effect with the Epsom salts. So there's one, and a half. And then we're going to mix this all up. And we're going to let it cool to um, room temperature. And then we're going to use it on our jar. Okay, so now that our solution is cooled to room temperature, we're gonna go ahead and take a paintbrush and we are just going to paint our solution onto the bottle. Now you can do the whole bottle, part of the bottle, however you want to do it. Um, you just want to get a nice coating on there and you can do um, brush marks, you can do stippling to get different effects. Um, however you want to go ahead and paint the jar um, is completely fine. And I think I'm going to try to avoid the area that I would put the label on um, just so I don't have to clean too much off of the jar where the label might go. So I think I'm going to kind of stipple around that. I hope you guys can see this okay. Let's see. And once you get the area covered in the solution, we want to let this sit and dry for um, about five, 10 minutes. Come back, take a look at it, and see if you decide to do another coat. Okay, so now that I let this dry for about five or ten minutes, I'm hoping I can show you guys the effect you get with this frost look. Um, so it's given us a really nice icy a frost effect everywhere except for where we didn't paint. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and take this and we're going to go ahead and fill it with our blue ice potion. Okay, so all I'm going to do to fill this is um, use our blue dish soap and we are just going to fill the bottle up and we are going to cork it okay so I want you guys to really see this great icy effect that we got on this bottle so because we put that on there, it really makes the bottle look like it's frozen. 
Okay, so now that we have our bottle filled, we're going to take our label that is printed on sticker paper. We're gonna go ahead and peel the backing off of this sticker. And I'm going to stick it on a section of my bottle that um, I purposefully left without the frost on it. So you wanna line up your label, try to get it as straight as possible. That looks pretty good. And then start in the center and work your way out to the edges and just really smooth it down. Okay, so now that my label is on, I'm gonna go ahead and take some Mod Podge that I've put into a container here. And I am going to put just a little bit up here on the cork and on the edge. And we're gonna kinda of try to make it look like it has landed on there. And then we're going to take a little bit of the raw Epsom salts and the clear glitter or white glitter. And we're going to make it look like the bottle has frosted over even more. So once we put some of the Mod Podge on there, then we can take a little bit of the Epsom salts and the glitter. So we want to knock off any of the excess Epsom salts and then add some of the glitter And we're going to continue to do this to give it a nice frosty effect. Once we have glittered and Epsom salted everywhere we wanted to, to kind of give a great um, icy frosty effect on the bottle and label, you are done. Okay, well there you have it, Ice Potion. This will be a great addition to your potion collection that we've been making along the way. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.